Hey, what's happening there, everybody? Man, uh, happy King Day to you. Uh, man, I'm just getting up, and I'm seeing all this stuff on TV, man. Look, I'm going to tell you, all you celebrities, black, minority, all of you, man, athletes, man, all of you. Look, let me tell you something. There's a strategic plan that people are trying to make you a part of, okay? So do not accept any invitation to have any meeting. No matter how positive you think the outcome may be, without understanding, man, people have a very willy lynch agenda, okay? And you being there, being seen with them taking pictures and smiling and being positive, it may seem positive to you, but there's a hidden agenda, man. And you might not know it, but now you have been warned. Do not go in there unless you have a strategy or you with John Lewis or somebody who can represent him. Okay, man, so let me be specific with you, man. I'm explaining to you in great detail, all right, step by step. I seen all these people over the weekend going back and forth in and out there, man, officers. If you want to take a picture, then cool. That's what you do. But let me show you exactly where they're coming from, okay? They seen how adamantly against him being president, the hip-hop community, and the young black people was in America. So what did they do? They get Kanye West to come in. Well, he's their representative. They listen to his music, they buy his shoes, they go see him in concert. Well, surely if we take a picture with him, he smiles and says he's cool with it, they'll fall right in line. Okay, and also, you know, you got black women, you know, they were against it. Well, who speaks to the black women? Steve Harvey. Let's get him in here. He'll take a picture, he'll smile, he'll say it's cool, they'll fall right in line. Who else? They love football. Let's get Ray Lewis. Let's get Jim Brown. They were the heroes. Surely if they say they cool with it. And also on the on the week where you going back and forth with Martin Luther King, homeboy, one of the most prolific civil rights activists of our times, you gonna get Martin Luther King's son or Martin Luther King Day to come in there and meet with you, and y'all gotta see this man, divide a conquer. Okay, so this may sound a bit more critical, you know what I mean? And not that I want to sit at a judgmental seat or that I'm holier than thou or nothing like that, man. But I mean, I don't want kids looking at this man to think just because I ain't saying nothing that I'm alright with it, you know what I mean? Uh, and first of all, let me tell you this. There's nothing wrong with sitting down across from anybody, no matter how different your views may be from theirs or, you know, what, how different your backgrounds may be. Uh, as long as they give you the basic human decency of respecting your, your, your values, respecting your ancestors' legacies, and, and, and they're not representing hate groups that are adamantly against your advancement and progressions as a people, all right? With that being said, Kanye, what the fuck you doing, man? Steve, man, you know way better than them, man. You know what I'm saying? Jim Brown? Really? Martin Luther King, man, it's your goddamn daddy. Birthday, bro. You gonna go and sit down with, hey man, divide and conquer, bro. You know what I mean? Willie Lynch, read up on it. Don't be a part of it. Be against it. Thanks for checking out Check it out now. I hate to say it, but Clifford, you're right. Okay, now I have definitely been one who has encouraged people speaking to Donald Trump recently. I actually, man, I want people to speak to the president because we got to speak to the motherfucker that's going to run the country for the next four years, not ignore him or not act like you're in denial talking about he's not my president. He going to be the president pretty soon. However, listen, we got to point out propaganda when we see it. All right. When you see black entertainers meeting with him and then the photo op happens afterwards and bunch of smiles and kind of thumbs up, like kind of signaling to the black community like, well, this guy rocks with me, or this guy is cool with me, you should be too. Obviously, that's propaganda. T.I. sees it. I see it. I mean, uh, he's not the only one that uses it. I'm talking about President-elect Donald Trump at this point. He's not the only one that uses propaganda. Propaganda is used all around us by everybody, okay, including the media, of course, including the current president, which we all fuck with him, right? But... That's propaganda. And I got to agree with T.I., man. When you see everybody coming up there and they're hanging out with motherfucking the president and you see the picture after, I want you to talk to him, but come on, man. Do y'all got to do it where all the cameras are there that is going to be photographing you coming out of the elevator. Y'all just sitting there talking to the press. Y'all could definitely meet or arrange meetings where y'all could actually get stuff done without having all the press. When I see the press, I'm thinking this is more than just having a talk. And I'm not even going to dismiss the talks that's being had as not being qualitative or actually constructive or progressive. But when I see the cameras afterwards, it's trying to signal. And here's the thing about it, too. Every one of these people that met with Donald Trump, they do the whole camera shit afterwards, but they don't in-depth break down what was said, what he said, what uh, what you said, and what is agreed upon as for the next four years. It's basically like a fucking red carpet thing. He don't answer shit. 
So had these motherfucking, like, entertainers really break down what was discussed. Like, hey, listen, I had this fucked up about Donald Trump. I spoke to him directly. He said this. I said this. I asked him about this. He said this. And this is what we're trying to come to as the medium. I hear none of these motherfuckers who had these meetings really divulge what the fuck they met about. Okay? Who knows what the fuck they were talking about? They could be talking about grabbing pussy. They could be talking about Tiger Woods. I don't know what they talking about. So for that, I got to agree with T.I. because it seems all for the cameras because the cameras are all present and they put this on air. And really, the biggest story of it all is not what actually was accomplished or what was talked about was that Donald Trump actually met with these people. So I got to say that's propaganda, and I agree with T.I. in that sense. Now, I am not agreeing with him that people should not meet with the president or go to an inauguration or whatever else, like, separatist tactics I've been seeing, like, being promoted. But these photo ops are just for the motherfucking, like, uh, propaganda machine, all right? We should all know this. Get in the comments, make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. What do you think about your favorite entertainers or, like, celebrities meeting with Donald Trump and kind of just sitting there and basically taking pictures afterwards. Now, again, we don't know if they're not for the black people, as some people like to say, or they're not being constructive with these talks, but the cameras afterwards and these pictures and the footage that goes out and that little mini interview where you tell nothing or you just say they should like, oh, yeah, we talked about improving the inner city community. How, nigga, how? (sighs) Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like that. Subscribe. What do you guys feel about all this? All right. What do you guys feel about it? I'm up.